Hello vinyl community, uh, I'm back to do a recent vinyl finds and I don't have much uh, this time so, you know, let's go! First of all, I bought some books. It's summertime and I read books on the summer, uh, on the summer so especially music books. So I'm gonna start off with this one that I got, Bill Bruford's The Autobiography and I have to thank the, the two guys in the UK for this, uh, who recommended this in a comment. Um, and I got it. I just started reading it so I can't say anything about it, but the language is awesome. He's really a good writer. The little that I've read and you know, I love the groups that he's been in uh, Especially Crimson. So, you know, thank you so much for the recommendation. The next one is a book about John Coltrane uh, by Lewis Porter and this is a fucking advanced advanced book about John Coltrane, not uh, at all easy to, to read. A lot of notes and stuff like that just to, um, to really dig into the music and I'm not a musician so I can't read notes uh, so I, I don't know what they're like me what they mean but but the, the stuff around that you know his childhood and growing up playing with great musicians stuff like that is really really good so a good 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 listen I uh, highly recommend it if you're into Coltrane. And the piece, the resistance, I don't know. But I got the Compendium by Julian Cope, uh, Expression into the Rock and Roll uh, Underworld. So this is like obscure, um, he, he takes like obscure uh, music and reviews those, uh, those records. Awesome, really, really good. Thick, thick book, uh, perfectly written. Uh, with a binding in like snake leather. I don't know if you can see the, the stuffy stuff there. So, um, and it's not super expensive either. So, so a good buy, a good read, highly recommended. So, uh, the records. Uh, the first one I got was actually a 7 inch single, and I don't collect 7 inches at all, so, but I couldn't refuse this. Klaus of Jägerstam, Ringbog och Jakten from the record uh, Out of My Hair. Now Klaus of Jägerstam was a famous producer in Sweden back in the day uh, and this 70s record out of my hair is a prog gem uh, with a lot of good studio musicians on it. Um, all of the songs on out of my hair is on English but if you want the Swedish versions of Rainbow and the Hunt you have to buy this one because you get it in Swedish. Um, I need to get this record and I've been after it for a while but it's so so expensive but I, I don't like I need to find it cheap. Uh, because these songs are not good at all. So, but you know, hey, what you gonna do? <clears throat> Continuing with the rock stuff that I got, uh, I actually got this, the, the Stills and Young Band with Long May You Run from 1976. Um, yeah, good one if you like Stills or Young or both, you know, uh, good solid songs, but they Seems like they, they, they trade songs with each other, you know, first Neil Young starts with his song and then Stills with his and you know, it goes on. So, so it's like half of the record is a Neil Young record and the other one is a Steven Stills record. Uh, Long May Run, Run the Song is really really good and also Midnight on the Bay or Black Royal, I can't remember or make love to me, uh, to you. Uh, but there were some great songs on there, so I'm good. Uh, I'm happy that I got it, but you know, I'm a sort of a completist when it comes to Neil Young when I find it cheap, so. Next one was a recommendation from a friend. He said get the Ricky Lee Jones uh, record if you find it cheap, and I did, so I did that. Because I've heard Shucky E's In Love, uh, and I like the production and playing on it, but this was not a good record, in my opinion. Don't get this. It's, it's from 1979, and it's that's like 1979, 80s kind of production on it. Sounds like pretty much anyone else uh, from the time. Uh, but great musicians, if you like that sort of production, your cup of tea, but not mine. <clears throat> Moving on, traded this with River for the Le Noise uh, record with uh, Neil Young and a couple of other stuff to get that one. But I found a, found a new copy uh, that I'm gonna keep in my collection this time. Wrong Way Up with Eno and Kale uh, from 1990, I think. Uh, solid, solid record by by Eno and Kale. Strong songs, almost like a little bit poppy at some times. Uh, easy to listen to and great musicians. Next one I almost bought for the cover, uh, the Exorcist soundtrack. Um, 
And yeah, what you gonna say? If you like The Exorcist, you know about the music and then you love this one. Uh, and set aside the Tubular Bells track. It's a really interesting uh, record with a lot of like almost experimental soundscapes and long tracks and and it's cool how they work with quiet parts to that's building up to to do some some sort of like uh, yeah soundtrack. Um, highly recommend it. I got it for like two three bucks or something like that. So I was super happy when I got it. Moving on to a little uh, a little bit obscure and cu cooler in my opinion uh, stuff. You know, I'm always late on this, and but I finally got it. I always was ashamed that I didn't have this because it's been such a huge, huge success. And, you know, I have to give them my money when they do such great things. But I haven't. But now I did. I done. I did that. Doing a shit i allt or fuck everything if you want to interpret it. Um Modern prog, uh, a little bit poppier than I thought it would be, uh, but it's really good. A modern like Swedish masterpiece, um, and if they don't make it huge, you know, um, it's gonna be a, a obscure classic maybe uh, in the future. I don't know. Uh, I'm just talking now. I got the red uh, vinyl edition on subliminal sound, so this is the Swedish edition, and I think that this is pressed in 1,200 copies uh, from 2010. So it's just incredible that you still can get it, get this online. 1,200 copies and three years ago, and you can still buy it. It's insane for a good, good price. Super duper, highly recommended. Uh, this one was one that I wanted, but I can't afford the original, so I got the reissue. This is Rhythm and Blues by Melvin Price, or Priest, I don't know if that's the, the right uh, word for it. Now, this is the one on Wax Poetics, because if you want the original, you're gonna pay a lot of money for this. Um, so Melvin Price was in Sweden, recorded some stuff, uh, including this one, I think. This is also rec recorded in Sweden. Uh, he did a... Uh, uh, Album called Jazz Rhythm, uh, Jazz Ballet Rhythm, uh, that I have here, and then he did Rhythms uh, or Rhythm that I don't have. That's that one, and then he did this one. On the other two, it's mostly percussion and bass, um, but on this one he has congas, tenor sax, percussion, uh, electric bass, contrabass, bass, contrabass, uh, piano and drums. So you have a whole band here. You can really feel and, and hear that sort of like a, a bigger a bigger band than the other ones, and in my opinion, better than than Jas Ballet Rhythm. This is highly recommended. Now, I bought this on Swedish eBay. I paid tw uh, ten bucks plus shipping. A good price, in my opinion, for the Wax Poetic Press. Now, uh, if you go to waxpoetics.com, I think you can buy this for three bucks on their uh, homepage. Three bucks w uh, plus shipping now. The reason I didn't do it is because the shipping to Sweden is just like whew, insane. Uh, so it was easier for me to buy it online on Swedish eBay because they had one there. Um, but if you're a US based citizen you can buy this for three bucks at, at the, the, and I guess that the, the shipping is better there where, you, where you're at. Now do it. Three bucks. It's like a Snickers bar and you can get this Three bucks the last time I looked. If you don't, you're an idiot. Two progressive Swedish progressive records that I bought that I want to show you. The first one is really easy to find, I think, but it's incredible that it is. This is Hair with, uh, or Hair, uh, an American hippie, hippie love in a musical. So it's the musical for the hair on Swedish, really. Uh, from 1968, and look at this. This copy is from 1968. You have a little bit of ring wear, but other than that, it's in mint condition, and I paid three bucks for this from 1968 on Sonic Records. It's just insane, but uh, I guess that there's a hundred thousand copies of this out there. But it's a shame I don't read about this a lot because, okay, set aside that uh, the singers on this one, they are good, but it's hair, you know. The musicians on here, the bands that play on here, is Baby Grandmothers and the Mickey Markman plus uh, some other guys. 
So you got those two really, really cool psychedelic bands in the late 60s. That was openers for Jimi Hendrix when he did the, the Scandinavian tour. Uh, so Mekki Bundesson, Pelle Ekman, Håkan från Sen, Kenny Håkansson from Kevin Kaiser. But this is like four or five years before Kevin Kaiser. And when you can hear them playing out at the more quieter parts, it's amazing. So highly recommended. Uh, and I'm gonna see if I can find more of those for that kind of cost so I can share them with the VC members. Uh, because it's a cool record uh, with a lot of history, in my opinion. But as a whole, it's not super interesting. It's nothing groundbreaking at all. But, you know, as a historical Swedish progressive piece, it's pretty cool. Okay, and the last one, one that I've been after for a while, and it's it's pretty hard to find for a good price these days, but I, I managed to, to find a seller on Swedish eBay that uh, I think had down uh, graded it. I think I paid 10 bucks plus shipping for this, and that's a steal for this record. And it's Björn Jason Lins from Storstad till Grodspad. Um, easily Björn Jason Lins uh, most sort of sort out of the record I think you say that uh, but also um, one of those like Swedish prog or jazz rock records that you need to have in the collection and you have to pay a little bit for but not you know it's not gonna ruin you but you know 40 50 40 50 60 bucks maybe on the first side it's called uh, music from a store start music from a big city and it's just one big long jam of sorts with a lot of musicians. Uh, it's uh, 21 minutes long now. Except for Björn Gisundin, you have Jon Bendel, Ulla Brunkut, and Rune Karlsson on drums. So you have three drummers on the first uh, song. You have Palle Danielsson and Bengt Linnarsson on bass, so two bass uh, players. You have Kenny Håkansson, Anders Nord and Janne Schaffer on guitar. So three of the best guitar players at the time in Sweden. And you have a cello, and then you have Swedish Radio Symphony Orchestra uh, on it. Mixed with sounds from the big city, like mixed sampled into the music, and all in all together, wonderful piece of music. And it's on eBay, so if you if you Google this from Stuttgart to Grundspot, you can find the first song, the 20 where one minute song, and it's a masterpiece of, of a fucking song. Now, the second side is Sju Popstycken, seven small pop songs, maybe. Uh, and it's just like one or two minute long songs uh, that, that Björn Iselin did, along with uh, a lineup that is even cooler. Uh, except for the other guys that I talked of before, you also have Göran Lagerberg on song, Göran Lagerberg played with Tages, that did the, the, the wonderful studio record, I've talked about that. And you also have Janne Karlsson on drums, and Janne Karlsson was in, in uh, Hansson and Karlsson, uh, Bo Hansson and Karlsson. And I think 1971, this is from 1971, I think it's one of the last really good records that, that uh, Janne Karlsson did before he monkeyed out and became a, a shitty actor, and yeah, you know the deal. So, a record I'm really happy to have from Stone Start to Girls Bar with Björn Jason Lee. So that's it. Uh, that's what I have to sh have to, to show you. Uh, I'm not buying as much vi vinyl now as I, I did before uh, because I'm not finding anything that I really want. And, and uh, yeah, you know, and it's summertime uh, here, so I'm not crate digging as much as I did before. Uh, I have some stuff coming in the mail, but other than that, it's nothing, you know, big. So, uh, I don't know when I'm here the next time to do a recent vinyl find, but uh, if I can't do that, I'm gonna answer some threads and be a part of this thing, you know. I have my vacation coming up in three weeks, so that's gonna be very, very uh, cool. Uh, I, I really need that three weeks of vacation, I feel like that. But it's still three weeks until I get my three weeks, so I have some days left to work before that. Hope you all are gr uh, great, feeling good, feeling alright, and uh, see you soon. Bye.